Hey, what's up, it's Rich, with a quick uh, guide, if you can call it that. Um, I'm in the Star I'm in Star Wars The Old Republic here. Um, I'm brand new player to this. I've only been playing it for, you know, a few days, about a week even. Um, but I'm playing it here on Linux uh, through Steam using Proton. It works really, really well. Um, I'm using the glorious egg roll protons, and it's it's as good, if not better, than on my Windows PC, which is behind me. Uh, but anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. But I am here to talk about something specific to Linux users. So, there is apparently a bug in this game. It's been here for, you know, time. Um, I found it when I was watching some beginner's guide videos. Um, I will drop a link in the description to the one that I found. But basically, the camera moves really, 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 really fast. And when you go into your control preferences, even with the camera rotation speed set down on zero, it's it's like your mouse is set on, you know, like 16,000 DPI. It's all over the place. Really, it's completely uncontrollable. But there is a fix. Um, I kind of wish that Bioware would fix it in the game because, you know, we shouldn't have to be doing this. We shouldn't have to be delving into settings files. But anyway, there is a fix, and it involves adding a line of code to a uh, to a file. Now, on Windows, finding that file is fairly straightforward. The file path is there, and, and you know you, you can find people talking about it online. What I couldn't find is people talking about it on Linux. And obviously, I'm also a fairly new Linux user as of this year, so I'm still learning my way around the file systems. And I'm sure you know a lot of people, other people are. And, and the Linux file system in general is very different to Windows. So if you're used to Windows in particular, it could be confusing. Nevertheless, the f same file does exist. Um, now, I'm a, like I said, I'm using Proton uh, and Steam for this for this version. So obviously, if you've installed it through, say, Lutris, and you're using the the um, you know the, the, the standalone launcher rather than the Steam download, uh, your file systems will be different again. But in any case, there's a, there's one file you're looking for, and it's called uh, it'll be called your account name underscore account. Dot I -N -I. Now, you, the easiest thing to do is just to search for this file. If you don't have any joy with that, search for uh, SWTOR in caps in your file manager. And there will be a couple of folders. Inside one of them is the folder that you are going to need. There will be a folder called SWOTOR, all caps, SWTOR, all caps, Inside that, there will be a folder called SWOTOR, or lowercase. And inside that one, there will be then a folder called settings. That's how you find it. That's how I found it. Um, I, my search results weren't giving me the file specifically, but the file will be whatever your username is, uh, whatever your account name is, username, account name, all the same thing. Not your character name, obviously. Your main account name, underscore, account, Dot I -N -I. When you find that file, open it up in a text editor, and you need to add a simple command, which will be flashing up on the screen now, assuming I managed to do it correctly. Um, but I will also put it in the video description below. Basically, you add a, con uh, add a command, controls underscore camera rotation speed equals, and some people are saying that 0 0.08 is the best, play best way to go. I went down to 0 0.06 to get this kind of slower, man more man much more manageable camera rotation, um, in part because I'm using a Razer Naga Pro, which isn't officially supported on Linux. The open Razer drivers aren't, you know, aren't, aren't there for it yet either, so I had to set the mouse up on a Windows PC and save the profile to the mouse, and there was some disparity with the DPI. Even on the lowest DPI settings on the mouse, it was still a bit too, you know, a bit too crazy for my liking. So I went down a step, uh, and this is, this is what I'm... You know, this is what I'm looking at, and I'm happy with it. And ultimately, if 0 0.08 is still too fast for you, then knock it down. And that's all there really is to it. It's um, it's a shame that it is apparently a long-standing thing and, and hasn't been fixed. And, you know, hopefully, maybe it'll get fixed at the end of the year when the uh, the big expansion comes. But I'm a brand new player, and it was uh, it was something that I had to figure out for myself. And obviously, with it being, you know, with me playing on Linux, I did an extra degree of difficulty to it. 
because the only guides I could find were to where, were for where to find the damn file that I needed on Windows. Uh, the good news is the struct the the end file structure is the same on Windows as it is on on Linux it seems. Um, but getting to that point is a few layers deeper. You will also need to make sure you have hidden files enabled. Um, I have mine enabled like that, you know, uh, as standard anyway, as I'm sure many Linux users may well do. Uh, but if you don't have uh, hidden files enabled, you will also need to do that to be able to see all the necessary folders and files. But it's literally just that one line in a text file, save it, close it, load the game back up, load back into the game, and enjoy a much more manageable, pleasant uh, camera rotation speed. So there we go. I'm going to dive back into some SWOTOR now, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.